Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Sam, joined by the Beatles and Mandeep. Hey everyone. And guys, today we're checking out a very exciting trailer for a film that already crossed 31 million views. That's for the trailer alone. That yeah. shows you how incredible this is going to be. And as you guys can see from the title, this is the Mumbai Saga official trailer. Now, some of the cast in here, they're so incredible. I mean, let me let me tell you guys all the cast that's starring in this movie. So you got directed by Sanjay Gupta, first of all, and it features Imran Hashmi, Sunil Shetty, John Abram, and Kajal Agarwal in the lead roles. Now, those are some powerful names. <laughs> those guys are all incredible actors. And personally, I'm a huge fan of Sunil Shetty and John Abram. Yeah. So it'll be good to see you know them in a film together. If you guys are looking forward to see a reaction on this, make sure, guys, you destroy the like button on this video. But without any further ado, Let's jump straight to our reaction. That's a weird color texture. Inspired by true events. Sorry guys, there's no top level. Oh my god, Sean O'Brien. Oh, so it's his story. He's saying that, you know, now it's time for my story, guys. Oh my god, Sunil Shet, is that you? What a powerful dialogue. <laughs> he wants to rule the city. He wants to rule the city. He wants to rule the city. Amartya Rao ek reputed Arjun <laughs> Bombay becoming Mumbai. Ah, okay. Guys, this looks incredible. Just in case Matne Apka Satia or Aptimus player Komara, the Kamsakam Nebulsakuma, you men and Motse Hat Nayata. Oh, what? Guys, that was incredible! Hold on, there were yeah. so many things going on. Oh my god. I can't make out what's going on. Jeez, so apparently it's inspired by a true story. Yeah. And if I've got the context correctly, they're saying this is, you know, the story behind why Bombay became Mumbai. Right, yeah. Oh my god, I didn't know that there was a story. Or I know there's a reason, but I'm not, I didn't know that what kind of reason was yeah. behind them changing the name. Yeah, we even didn't thought of. I know, but that's, I didn't realize it had to do with like this gang stuff. I'm not sure if, you know, how much of it is them exaggerating and how much yeah. of it is really inspired by true yeah. events. But I guess we'll have to find out and read up on the history of why exactly the name changes as well. But that looks incredible. All the cast, all the characters look incredible. Sunil Shetty was a big shock for me because, you know, I've never seen him in that kind of role or in that kind of dress up the way he was done yeah, he had long... he has always been decent guy exactly so he had this like long <laughs> hair and then you know like a bit of gray and white beard and you know mixture yeah. so he was putting up that mature look because obviously he's, a, he's an older guy now but he still looked incredible <laughs> oh my gosh you know Teddy is always you know one of the top heroes in the industry yeah. and you got Johnny O'Brien 
he just he just gives off such he, he just oozes energy you know, every dialogue he speaks everything he says is just incredible and so powerful so it's him what? rising up the ranks it feels like you guys didn't understand language or didn't understand hindi we do apologize guys we tried to find one with subtitles but unfortunately we couldn't find one but to, to break it down in case you know some of you watching may not understand so it's basically him trying he was saying you know it's my time now yeah. you know i'm going to be rising up the ranks you know yeah. now it's, you know i'm going to be taking out the bad guys and this is my city now basically that's the kind of context of the movie so far and then there's a bounty get that, that gets placed on this guy's head yeah. like 10 crore which is a lot of money because he just killed a very famous business yeah man. he apparently killed someone very yeah. famous so they place a bounty on him and you know whoever catches him obviously gets paid 10 crore which is uh, an insane amount yeah. of money so and then that police officer which is played by Imran Hashimi yeah so the first dialogue we see him of his saying I'm not worried about whether or not I'm gonna catch him or not uh, I'm worried about how I'm gonna spend the 10 crore <laughs> so he already thinks or he already knows yeah. that he's gonna catch him that's a amount of confidence that's a lot of confidence <laughs> I know geez he's very confident in his ability I guess yeah. we'll find out whether or not you know he survives or you know does he capture him yeah. we'll, we'll find out so that that's was, the main that would be interesting to know exactly it's a battle between John O'Brien and him but also I want to know where Sunil Seti fits in is he the other character they're trying to overtake from who knows I don't really, I don't really understand Sunil Seti's role in this but I guess we have to watch the movie and find out and figure out that part but that was incredible guys Mumbai Saga <laughs> that looked in, if you guys are already familiar with the story of what happened yeah. you know um I think it'll be really good for us to understand that as well so we'll definitely redo a bit of research if you guys can let us know back in the comments down below of exactly what happened that'll be really appreciated as well guys but this looks incredible the cast the music the way it's shot the color gradient the color scheme the color gradient of the film was very different it's like it was making you feel like it's going back in time yeah with that very i don't know yellowish background i guess you can say or the yellow, yellowish tone so that was you know unique that was something you know good to see but this looks incredible, Mumbai Saga. I can go on and on about this film and the trailer because it had so many aspects to it. There were like so many layers yeah. in the trailer. Like first of all, John Abraham and his acting is always good. Obviously, he plays such a you know. Usually, you see him always playing the good guy. So in this one, I'm not sure if he's considered to be the good guy as per you know your normal terms, yeah. or is he still the good guy but just going at it in a different way? And Imran Hashmi looks like a corrupt cop. Is what I feel like he is. <laughs> yeah. But I guess we'll find out. They really, you know, the thing that caught me really off guard was the ending, where I f these guys have met each other. Is yeah. what it seemed like. And they're even shaking their hands. Yeah. So it felt like you know, he, um, John O'Brien was driving cabs for a living, and you know, he's like, I'm glad I get to meet you. At least I feel like I've met death or something. Yeah. I, I can't remember the, the dialogue per se, but you know, I feel like that was the kind of context. So maybe. He used to be a cab driver. That's why he's saying he's rising to the ranks. So maybe he... I don't know what his role was. Was that before maybe, or prior? Maybe that that's the before all this thing. Before all this thing, yeah. right? So maybe they met each other before and, yeah. you know, he got inspired yeah. or something happened. And he's like, okay, now nah, I'm, I'm, I'm becoming something in my life. I'm going to do something. You know, yeah. I'm going to rule the city. So who knows what happened between the interaction. Maybe that's the interaction that triggered John Abraham. He's like, nah, I've had enough. I'm doing something with my life. Who knows, guys? We'll find out. But that looked incredible. If you guys you know, want us to check out when the movie comes out, any scenes or songs, just leave your suggestions down below. We'll definitely check it out. And as always, if you know the reaction on this, make sure you destroy the like button on this video, guys. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because that really helps us out. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace. Bye-bye.